anaconda. Mega predator. <laughs> Judged on weight alone, the South American anaconda is the world's largest snake. The mere mention of its name brings images of an awesome and terrifying killer. Look at the top. Oh, Look wow. at the top. The right there. Do you see it? <laughs> okay, okay. You're one. You're fine. Time to do the evil loop. I need some help. Oh, yeah. You just got me in one arm. Okay. A mass of writhing muscle. It is truly an icon of the Amazon. Oh, really? Putting up a struggle now. With a strike as fast as a boxer's jab, anacondas are a challenge for those who try to unravel their mysteries. Brazil 2006. Loss of habitat has forced this 24-foot anaconda onto a local farm in search of an easy meal. These police officers don't yet realize that they could be on the menu.
whole range of bright items they consume. This is always a compromise that field biologists have to deal with. We need to learn as much as we can from the animals, but doing as little inflow interference with the normal behavior. Anacondas normally kill their prey by squeezing it so tight that the heart cannot fill up with blood, the heart cannot beat. That stops circulation of the animal and kills it very quickly. The anaconda doesn't have any good way to kill a turtle. The only thing the anaconda can do is to drown it. But this is an aquatic turtle, so probably it will take hours for it to die by drowning. Just got a turtle that is almost a foot long, but she's not a very really large anaconda, and she's having quite a bit of trouble. I can see how she's trying to hold it with her loops so she can shove her mouth towards it. She's trying to maneuver it. She has to get it by the head and she had to pin it with her loops at the same time that she spread her jaws around the shell of the turtle. Once the snake starts swallowing the prey, she becomes very vulnerable. Her only weapon, her mouth, is busy swallowing the prey. This process might take easily four hours, six hours, depending on the size of the prey. She's probably going to finish eating it as soon as we leave. morning, Sarah and Jesus go in search of the anaconda to see if she successfully swallowed the turtle. The breeding season's just a few weeks away. Female anacondas need sufficient fat to survive their pregnancy when they don't eat for as many as seven months or more. If she ate the turtle, then she would be somewhere hidden nearby digesting it. Somebody here. There she is. I got it here. Okay. She is big. Look at the turtle. Oh, Look wow. at the turtle right there. Do you see it? Oh, I thought the head is over here. I don't want her to lose her meal, so that is the size of the turtle. This is the lump. You can see the turtle right there. And uh, she is about to snap at my butt. Uh, no, don't do it. Don't do it. No, please don't do it. Ah! <laughs> Oh, okay, fine. I know I deserve it. I'll leave you alone. This is the lump. You can see a big feat for an anaconda to eat a prey that size. <laughs> okay, okay, you won. You're fine. Let's back out and leave her alone. I'm glad she's fine. She's healthy. She has a bit of a temper. She bit me. Of course, there's no venom. There's nothing to worry about. Sometimes it amazes myself how the anaconda can swallow a turtle shell and digest it. But her digestive juices are so powerful that they will dissolve that shell down to nothing. When she defecates, there won't be hardly any evidence. All the bones will be digested. It's good to know that she's alive, she's healthy and, you know, getting good meals. Anacondas feed on a wide variety of prey, from small birds to caiman, deer, and capybaras. The snake rarely loses, but sharp claws and teeth can spell disaster, turning the table on the predator. Unlike most carnivores, which can bite off hunks of flesh and chew their prey, snakes have no limbs or cutting teeth and must swallow their food whole. To compensate for their lack of limbs, the anaconda, like most snakes, is a uniquely adapted predator. Here. We can see the right and the left jaw are separated. They are not joined right there. That allows the snake to swallow very large prey. And also these mobile hinges right in the jaws allow her to open the mouth a lot more than it would be possible for a comparable reptile. Employing more than 100 backward-facing razor-sharp teeth, 
A snake unhinges its upper jaw and walks its head around and over the victim as its lower jaw works independently, pulling right and left to ratchet the prey into its mouth. Gradually, the kill is consumed whole. Despite their lack of offensive weaponry such as claws, snakes are impressive hunters, employing an arsenal of complex senses to survive what is essentially a hostile environment. Although harmless, the sight of a snake flicking its tongue gives most people chills, with some believing the tongue can sting. But this highly sensitive organ is crucial for any snake to be able to navigate its world. Right now, as she's tongue flicking, what she's doing is picking up chemical signals from the air, and it's relayed to the Jacobson's organ. Most animals have a keen sense of smell, but the sense of smell in snakes and lizards has been enhanced in an amazing way. Using their tongues to gather particles in the air, as well as underwater, their tongue relays messages to the brain about its surroundings. With each tongue flick, the snake scans its environment. This information is then transmitted from its tongue to its brain through two pits in the roof of the mouth, which connect to the Jacobson's organ. That's why snakes have forked tongues. It's little wonder that snakes, especially anacondas, are surrounded by myths and legends. There's always